Hello everyone, the topic we cover today chronic renal failure. The chronic renal failure, it is one of important or major disease condition under the renal system or excretory system in medical surgical nursing. So let's start, what is renal failure? The renal failure, it is the progressive uh, destruction of the or irreversible destruction of the nephrons and it is a systematic disease and also it is affect the all organs in our body. So we can see what are the main etiology and causes of the chronic renal failure. The first one is the reduced renal blood flow or second reason is the any obstruction in the urinary tract or infections and any systemic diseases such as diabetes mellitus, hypertension or SLE that is systemic lupus erythromatous and polyarthritis, glomerular nephritis, these all are the uh, systemic diseases may chances to get the uh, renal failure. And also environmental or occupational agent, medication and toxin agent or any vascular diseases. These all are the main causes or etiology of the chronic renal failure. So next we can discuss about the what is the pathophysiology of chronic renal failure. So as you know that now the etiology and the causes. Due to this etiological factor that will decrease the glomerular filtration rate. When the reducing the glomerular filtration rate that will leads to hyper, uh, hypertrophy of the nephrons. When the hypertrophy occur in the nephron that will leads to the inability to concentrate the urine. The inability to concentration of the urine it will leads to the uh, decrease or delay or loss of the function in nephrons. The nephron function will be loss. When the nephron function is loss that will leads to uh, loss of the non excretory and excretory functions. So that is the pathophysiology of chronic renal failure. So next we can discuss about the stages of chronic renal failure. The mainly there are four stages of chronic renal failure. The first one is the reduced renal reverse. Second one is the renal insufficiency. Third one is the renal failure. And fourth stage is the end stage of renal disease. These are the four main stages of the chronic renal failure. So we can discuss each one. The first one is the reduced renal reverse. In this stage, the client has no symptoms and also you can see the 40 to 75 percentage of loss of nephron function. And the second stage you can see that is a renal insufficient. Here you can see the uh, 75 to 90 percentage of the uh, uh, nephron losses or nephron function losses and also develop the symptoms. The symptoms such as imbibed concentration of urine and also uh, mild anemia or nexuria and increase the uh, so uh, creatine and burn. So these all are the symptoms we can see in the uh, renal insufficient stage. And third stage is the renal failure. The renal failure stage you can see that here there is a uh, develop the more symptoms such as there is a electrolyte imbalances that is hyponatremia, hyperphosphatemia, hyperkalemia and also there is a uh, increase the uh, nocturia, severe anemia. These all are the you can see in the third stage of the uh, renal failure. Last stage it is the end stage of renal disease. In this stage you can see there is a uh, multi-system effect that means already we discussed in this introduction I told uh, there is a multi-system disease that means it is systemic disease it affects the all organs in our body. So in the end stage of this disease condition there is effect the multi-system dysfunction. So we can discuss about the clinical manifestation of uh, what are the systemic changes we can see under the clinical manifestation. Normally there is a electrolyte imbalances and, uh, and other system changes. We can see the gastrointestinal system there is a nausea, vomiting, uh, constipation, diarrhea, stomatitis and also you can see under the respiratory system there is a dyspnea and uh, edema and, uh, and also you can see the uh, pulmonary edema and uh, next you can see that uh, under the neurological uh, dis system. Neurological system there is a uh, there is a paraplegia and a burning in feet 
and uh, uh, also central uh, central nervous system changes that is the forgetfulnesses and the restlessness and uh, there is a reduced uh, attentions and, uh, uh, and inability to concentrate uh, these all are the uh, symptoms we can see the under the neurological system and also we can see the musculoskeletal system so what are the symptoms we can see osteoporosis osteomalacia osteosclerosis uh, and also uh, integumentary system integumentary system there is a uh, discoloration that is maybe the gray or a yellowish dis, uh, skin discoloration and pruritis pruritis it is the itchy mm, and also thin and brittle nails and brittle hair uh, these all are the symptoms under the integumentary system and next is the uh, reproductive system under the reproductive system for women there is a uh, uh, that is a uh, menstrual disturbances i mean that is a uh, in uh, that is irregular menstruation and also infertility for the men there is a uh, oligospermia infertility and uh, uh, these all are the symptoms we can see in the reproductive system and endocrine system there is a uh, hypothyroidism and increase the growth hormone and prolactin so uh, in psychological changes uh, that is anxiety depression and behavior and uh, behavioral changes uh, irritability so we can see in the psychological changes so these all are the symptoms of the chronic renal failure so chronic renal failure why we are uh, discussing the each organs because it is affecting the each organs in our body so after the clinical manifestation we can see the diagnostic evaluation the under the diagnostic evaluation we can do the history collection physical examination urine culture urine analysis and creatine level uh, hb level uh, and also ct scan uh, renal biopsy renal scan these all are important diagnostic evaluation we can done under the uh, chronic renal failure the next one is the management after diagnostic evaluation we go for the management the management main aim of the management minimize the symptoms and improve the patient status and prevent the further complications and improve the uh, patients uh, that is a uh, life uh, chemistries so we have to start the management so improvement of the renal function here we can say the pharmacological management and dialysis dietary management under the pharmacological management here we already discussed the symptoms as per the symptoms we can provide the medications so here we see that mainly hypertension one of the symptoms so here we will give the antihypertensive drugs such as beta blockers ac inhibitor calcium channel blockers the person have the uh, nausea or vomit we can provide the antiemetics and for the pruritis under the integumentary system we studied the pruritis for the pruritis we can uh, topical administration of ointments and also lotions and antihistamines we can provide for the hyperkalemic condition we can provide the insulin therapy and the sodium uh, carbon uh, sodium carbonate uh, carbonate and also we can see that if a patient has the anemic in anemic condition we can provide the uh, that is folic acids iron therapies and all and this all are the medication we are providing as per the symptoms so if it already uh, while we are going to the uh, a treatment so patient have the different systemic uh, symptoms are there so as per the symptoms we can give the medications if the infection is there means we can provide the antibiotics for the pain analgesics we can provide so next one is the dialysis dialysis there we can see the peritoneal dialysis and the hemodialysis we can do so last one is the dietary management dietary management also one of the important uh, treatment for the uh, chronic renal failure so here we have to um, restrict the protein so protein daily we can provide with the patient 0.6 to 0.75 mg per kg of the ideal weight if the patient start the uh, dialysis we can provide the 1.2 to 1.3 uh, mg per kg of ideal body weight and also water restriction water restriction daily we can give the patient to the 600 ml of water otherwise the equal the amount of the previous day the patient urine output so and also we have to restrict the phosphate phosphate here we can provide a 1000 mg per day we can provide the phosphate and also there is a sodium and potassium restriction so daily we can provide 2 to 4 uh, mg per uh, day 
So, these are the uh, importance we can notice in the under the uh, nutritional management. So, after the nutritional management, it is the important management that is the nursing management. Nursing management, it is the assessment of the patient condition and provide the psychological support and also we have to monitor the vital signs and vital signs especially we have to see the patient condition in any abnormality if you are finding means we should inform to the doctors and uh, we should uh, intake an output chart and give the provide the medication as per the physician order and also we have to give the health education to the patient and family members about this disease conditions. So, this all are we have to see in the nursing management. So, today we discuss about the chronic renal failure. Chronic renal failure it is the irreversible progressive destruction of the uh, nephrons and it will be uh, one of the systemic diseases it affect the all or our organs in our body and that means the multiple system uh, dysfunctions. So hope you all understand this uh, chronic renal failure uh, that all for today classes this is Nisha signing off till we meet the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.